Hey, my dudes, Carter Bisbee Trippin, starting a good one for you today. Who wants to learn how to build a Bitcoin node, specifically one that you could build locally, have running, and then be able to mine solo, like if you have just a small setup or a USB miner or something like that, and you wanna to mine to your own node. We're gonna go through a node setup today, very quick. And I'm gonna show you through umbral.com. So umbral, and this is not a sponsored video or anything like that. It's just literally, we're gonna walk you guys through what I've found to be some of the fastest way to do this. And we're gonna go through just the install of the OS today and getting the node to start syncing. So on this website, you hit here, you guys will click this install for free. That will take you to this page. You can do this on a Raspberry Pi with you know a little micro SD or you can run it through uh, a computer, which is what we're doing over here, where I have this little test bench set up, a little USB uh, drive that will be in there loading it, and then an SSD drive set up on this, just to show you the setup. We do have one in the back that we're running right now this on. So I'm gonna hit how to install here. It will take us to the GitHub page. And essentially there's just a couple components here. This is gonna be the image file. Then you're gonna be using Etcher, uh, Valencia Etcher to run, so when you click on that, it will start to download a 2.5 gig file. I already got that done here. I'll show you guys this right here. You can see I got that done around noon and it was 2.4 gig. So then you will launch Etcher. Uh, when you go to hit Etcher and launch it, it will come up and it'll ask you some very basic questions. It's actually a three part thing. When it comes up, you gotta select the image, which should be in your downloads. You select that, you hit open you will come to select drive. This is very important that you select the correct drive. Like I have a 12 terabyte external drive here. Do not click. If you have a different drive here that's the size, just pay attention to this. This is the most important thing you wanna pay attention to. We're gonna use this 15 gig, or it's actually a 16 gig USB that's up there. And we're gonna hit this and hit continue. And then we're gonna hit flash. And that's gonna take a little bit of time. Now, while that's going, I already got that part done. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right over right now and get in the machine to kind of start doing its thing and start downloading this thing. So once that's done, you will put your USB into whatever machine you're gonna to dedicate to be your node. Now with a Bitcoin node, you're gonna want, you know, a pretty decent sized hard drive, 512, potentially one terabyte SS, you know, SSD or NVMe drive. It doesn't need to be a really powerful computer. This is a dual core Celeron. It's one of the uh, older like 3,900 Celerons that we used to use, 3,600 Celerons somewhere around there. And we have a single eight gig stick. It's not even in a, you know, paired type of setup. Again, this, this thing runs on a Raspberry Pi. So this is gonna be like light years ahead for it. So I'm gonna switch this monitor input because we have both kind of set up on this one monitor right now. So we're gonna switch this over to monitor two setup, or monitor one, and we're gonna turn this guy on and make sure that it boots up and starts to load this USB. And we're gonna see if this thing boot up. And you could go into your auto setup here now we're gonna make sure, now this drive that I put in here was an original Simple Mining OS, so hopefully it it's doing the Simple Mining OS, or it's not doing Simple Mining OS, which it's not. It looks like this is the startup that I was expecting. And here you go. So when Umbral comes up, this is what you'll see. It sees the USB as number two. It sees the hard drive that we have in here. This is only a 30 gig hard drive. This is not, you're gonna want something larger than that. I just grabbed one off the shelf here, but we're gonna go ahead and install the OS so you guys can understand what's going on. So we're gonna hit number one here on the right keyboard. Number one, and I'm gonna hit enter. And now that's gonna go through and install the, the OS to that drive over there and load it on there. And once this loads, there's not much to the config. Actually, there's like next to nothing on the config side. This is already pre-scripted, pre-loaded, and it will write that to there, and then all it's gonna do is reboot, and it's gonna ask you to take that USB stick out, and then this thing will be running a web server. So then from another computer is how you access this setup. You can terminal into it if you directly go into it, but 
you're just going to run it from a web server standpoint, which is going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash umbral dot local forward slash. So that is the, the web server that's running. You can see right now it's at about 2.5 gig. We're going to let this run and come back. All right, my dudes, it finished up. It shows you all the record count, what's in. About 21 gigs, about the final build on this. And then essentially what it's telling you is reboot the computer and be able to take that USB out because you don't want to try to restart again. So we're gonna go ahead and shut this baby down. And we'll go here and it will send the signal to power down this machine by holding it down. We're gonna pull that USB out. And now we're gonna restart the machine. And what we should see here is Umbral firing up. I'm gonna go through the normal boot and here you go. So now it's loading up. Now this is connected and it is running. And once it's up there and running and good, it should pop up here. So once it knows it has an IP, which on our network is here, and this is like a little test network we have set up. So I know it's not a weird, the classification on it's a 100 dot. Uh, that's our test network that we have here and it's running there. So it's running name resolution here. So this is where we'll be heading on another browser. So you do everything from a browser. You will do nothing from that machine that you have it on. So we're gonna switch back over to the other side of the monitor here to where we can then go and see once this thing goes through, we're gonna go to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash umbral dot local. You can see there. And then that's gonna come up and it's gonna ask you to start setting up the server. So you're gonna say yes. We're gonna do this as PBT test. We're gonna give it a simple password for right now. Now it's all set, BPT test, next. And then this will tell you what you want to do with it. You know, home assistant for automation, next cloud, Plex server, lightning node. We are going to do a Bitcoin node. Now you can have a mempool set up here. There's more apps in this, but if you click this Bitcoin node, you'll see this pop up and then you'll hit install. And now it will load that Bitcoin node. Time. So we just finished, we're gonna hit open here. And now that's gonna run it on still the HTTP with a local port of 2100. So that is the node and now it's starting to run. So it's connected to two peers and now you can start to see it synchronize. All right, my dudes, and once it's running, it starts cooking. You can see we're at 16,000 block now and it's rolling through and it's been running for about five minutes now. And you'll see essentially how many peers you're connected to, what the mega hash, well, and that'll go to Giga hash and then Terra hash and ultimately Peta and Exa. But this is like what at this block, how much hash rate was on the network at the time. So that's always kind of cool to see when you're watching it. And then how big the blockchain size is at that moment in time. So at, you know, 20,000 uh, blocks, you know, we only had like one transaction blocks, my dudes. So this was the early days of Bitcoin, but this allows you to set your Bitcoin node up. So it's that quick. I'd love to see what you guys can come up with. Get your nodes running, post down below that you got it running, and join the Bitcoin networks. See you, my dude.